This is episode 74. Are you stuck in an uncomfortable spot with a business colleague or a client? Did they do you wrong? Here's my magical way to heal your past relationships so you can move on. Welcome to the Calm Marketer Podcast. My name is Kenneth Fong, a digital marketer on a mission to help businesses thrive. I'll bring you on my marketing journey where you'll get to learn from my experiences as an INFP navigating an extroverted world and get actionable marketing tips for your business. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let's begin. Uh, This month, um, I am currently reading a book called The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. And I, uh, this book I think came out, it was published on, let's see what year it was published. Uh, 2012, so 2012. And I would say about this time last year, so around December or January, January of 2020, it's funny because um, I heard about this book, I saw this book at um, like a, a shelf at my local FedEx when I was um, having them print out my um, a couple of journals that I wanted for 2020. And while I was waiting there, I saw this book, it was The Magic, and on the top right corner of the cover, it has the secret logo. And, you know, I've, I've known about the secret book for, you know, over a decade now. And I saw that logo and I looked, I was like, oh, wow, you know, Rhonda Byrne, she has other books aside from the secret. And I didn't know this. And so I was, you know, just casually, I picked it up and I was looking at it and um, I was like, oh, I'm pretty cool. You know, I didn't really dive deep into it because I was kind of standing there at the FedEx. Um, But that's kind of what opened me to Rhonda Byrne's other books. And it realized that, you know, she published other books aside from The Secret. And right now I'm actually reading The Magic. Uh, It's funny how, you know, you see something and then a year later you actually do it. And so I'm currently reading it and it's a pretty cool book. It's a, it's basically a book that has different, uh, I guess you could call them like tasks or, or, or things that you do for 28 days to help you unleash this magic. And magic is basically gratitude. The magic word is thank you. So every day um, you have a new thing that you are supposed to do to offer gratitude and give thanks to different areas of your life. And it's all about using gratitude to attract more of the good things to you and literally change your life. And I am currently on page uh, day eight, day 15, chapter 15, day 15. And it's all about magically healing your relationships. And I thought this one was a pretty good one to create an episode on because when it comes to business, you know, there are a lot of times where you have to work with people that you don't necessarily want to work with. Um, You might be butting heads in terms of the tactics that you are working on or the strategy. If you have a client that doesn't necessarily, uh, they didn't probably didn't treat you right before or things just weren't in a good spot, you know, between you two. They probably did you wrong um, and you probably aren't working with them any longer or, you know, you aren't in good terms with them currently. And I want to let you know that, you know, those relationships, those feelings that you have towards your business partners, and this could be for your personal life too, you know, those things that you are thinking about constantly in your head are negative things and those negative things only hurt you. So there's a quote in the book by Buddha, and it goes like this. It says, holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. 
So the bad feelings that you have about another person, they really, those feelings burn your life, right? They hurt you. And it only hurts you. It doesn't hurt the other person. So whatever negative thoughts you have about the other person will only hurt you. So in order to heal, to fix that, or to eliminate those bad feelings, to eliminate those quote-unquote hot coals that you have, right, that you're holding on to, uh, you need to use gratitude to eliminate them. So what Rhonda is suggesting you to do to eliminate these bad feelings because they only hurt you is to, she says, um, look for a hot coal that is burning your life and literally turn it into gold through gratitude. She goes on to say, Choose one difficult, problematic, or broken relationship that you want to improve. It doesn't matter whether the person is currently in your life or if it's a past relationship and the person is no longer in your life. And what you need to do, she says, is sit down and write a list of 10 things you're grateful for about the person you've chosen. So the formula is write the name. So whatever part, business partner you have, any client, any personal relationship, you can say, John, I'm grateful for what? So you could say, John, I'm grateful for, um, I'm grateful for your support when I went through a difficult time. Or John, I'm grateful for you giving me my company the business that it needed to continue to operate. Or John, I'm grateful for the questions that you asked me last year that opened my eyes to a different way of seeing things. So write down 10 things that you are grateful for, for that particular person that you are not in a good relationship with, that you are in an uncomfortable spot with, uh, that, you know, they did you wrong in any way. Um, because if you think about it, you know, they... As hard as it may sound, they do have some good qualities in them, and they probably made you think in a different way that you haven't thought of before. They probably um, gave you some insight that might have helped you. They probably um, helped you with your business, right? So they helped you improve your revenue for your company. They gave you another book of business. So try to write down 10 things that you are grateful for for that particular uh, business relationship and it will magically really heal and turn things around you know if you are not working with them anymore if you do this gratitude practice you will no longer be holding those grudges um, that only hurt you they only only hurt you so try this out and let me know what you think so with that said i uh, will do this practice today and i will speak to you on the next episode